you guys. Thanks for being here. And give it up for um, Sticks. Woo! Yeah! Motherfucking Ashley Paul. Woo! Woo! Motherfucking Upset the Rhythm.
receiving an air as he passed the space beyond the immediate. Generationally, people don't change that much on the whole, do they? But maybe the circumstance in places matters. Like if a place is cold and mean, you can take the child to an easier zone. One with sun and ease and nicer weather. And raise them right so they can change the patterns of behavior. The generations that set or the verse to take the sweeter kid and bring them to the hard ancestor to make them mean. Precedent is set in a small head. But what about the will? When the defiant one is born, the anomalies happen. And that is the hope with even more spark to fight through an unempowered precedent, stronger and more flexible, more urge and energy, open to be, even be bare enough to admit that there are tears and gaps in the seams and not just unnecessary faults, faults that don't matter, that you only find when you are looking for them. If you're looking, you'll find them. There is so much space on this earth that is full of whatever you are looking for. The use of fault can be found there in that space, but it doesn't mean anything. Nothing. That talk is poison. Seriously, that talk is poison. Why would you need to hold someone down if they did nothing to you? Or to make a career of it a practice? I'm sorry. I know their degrees and not everything can be a party. But come on, what about the other thing? Like the criticism of context. Like maybe we were to the fear that stuff matters. Like like you only like his you're with him. And the songs sound perfect and they sound perfect. And the night in the fall in October, you were listening to Massive Attack of the Peaches and Adornment College in 1998. And it wasn't even your room. And it's not like the best thing you've ever heard. You don't need to change or do anything different. Our bodies look so different to ourselves in just different clothes. These baby giraffe knees not I'm sorry, I got new pants to show them. Fully only when I would see. I'm sorry, these gangly draft knees knocking together. I got new pants to show them. I'm sorry, fully only when I would see. And I only talk about the same thing over and over in circles because I only think about the same thing over and over in circles. The name is colder, but the feelings are warmer, more realer. Map to a record, it's a body and record is a map, and the summary stands. It would be so good if the banks had. I mean, come on, everybody's got a four. So everybody here. Because here's the thing. It's so cool to be here in England. Shout out! <laughs> um, wouldn't it be, because everyone's got that 404. It's cool. I think back to the days when everyone had... Anyways, but the thing that's crazy about it, because it, it, uh, the banks, you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. The bank, you can't hit, you can't fuck up. On one bank because you've got the samples on the other banks and you need to do time. Do you fucking know what I'm talking about? Will you just like stop? Thank you. It's JK. JK. So here's the deal though. I did mean the thing about that. I'm sorry I got so upset. I'm going to be honest. I'm hangry. Um, but I had some almonds and I think we're going to make it through. We're going to do this quick. I know everybody's hang hungry. Verging on hangry. Some people may be nauseous. I hear there's a bug going around, a stomach bug. I hope we don't get it, those of us that don't. Those of us that do, I'm sorry you had to get it. The guy came the other day to my studio to s help me set up this new machine that I had to get, and he was going to be there all day. The nicest guy, Jesse DeLeon, that's his name. And uh, he was coming, and he was, I was like, oh, what's going on, man? How are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm good. I've been just in the bathroom all morning. I've been sweating. <laughs> like, I was like, well, really? You're here now? And he's like, yeah, I think it's gone. And he's like, it either is a stomach bug or food poisoning. And I was like, why would you not just say it's food poisoning? Why would you tell me you're going to fucking infect me with this? Especially when I'm obviously going to fucking London in like two days. The next day he came back. He actually did come back the next day. The next day is crazy. The next day, wait, real talk. Actually, I'm not, it's so hectic. That's not a device, too. The story, if you want the story, oh, it's a bad story. Sorry. I really am improvising at all times. And in case you don't believe me, that's how you know. I'm like, fucking whoosh. Wait, this would be crazy, though, real talk. How many times have we done this? So many times. You all know, this is old shit. What if I felt the need... What if I really felt the need to explain it? That would be crazy. I did a talk yesterday at the museum. We explained everything. <laughs> um, but speaking of explanations, the next song is about, uh, is the thing, Jeremy, and uh, that I was telling you about, uh, I was telling you about earlier. <laughs>
Like, if they could just get the bank to have... Because the way it works... <laughs> for the four people that don't have a, the sampler. For the three people that aren't in a band. For the two... It doesn't... It has... A through A through B, and then C, G, D. So I can't even do math, but there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, t and two of them there's double. So that's five, five. So there's t twelve things, <laughs> and each of the twelve things has twelve more things. I've never counted this before. It's kind of a lot of options. And you've got different things you can use. This is funny too, because at one point I used to have a bag, and I really didn't want anybody to know that I had an iPod in the bag. And the iPod only had one thing, which was stop and start. But this has stop and start times, what's 12 times 12? 240? 144. 
You know what I mean? Paying a lot to get in the... Yeah, 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 yeah. thanks. <laughs> Printed posters of the words. There's no words, just picture and date stamp. Lamp. Takes up the picture. Lower right third of the frame, a little larger. Third of it functions the same. Sculpture. Pictures and a sculpture. Leaner, wall work, the other. I think about how my body looks in a video I saw from a show, kind of like it. Mick Jagger arm jump, saw it on TV with my mom at three. Chicken walking, arena rocking, start me up. Date stamp lamp, what's the way to say words with no words? Functions the same. Similar, or similar, kind of, sort of, kind of more open maybe? Less concrete maybe. Less the words in the way. Stairs in a picture, anyone stares functions the same. And the date stamp? That's a location, of course, in time. Harsh Patel, Astro Pen, photography needs graphic design. Every song a circle, whole record. Every song a section of the circle. Snakehead, midsection, body, tail. Not really. Dog spinning, mouth, excited, chasing its own face. Chasing its body, chasing its tail. Skateboarding's become so distasteful. It goes in waves. It's a many year thing. We're all getting older. I'm going to tell you guys the truth. This is a true story about Christopher Tipton. Chris, don't worry. But this is payback, man. So anyways, the first time I came to London was to do, was to play uh, Upset the Rhythm situation. Very wonderful. Chris and I corresponded many times over the email. We met through a man called Steve Touchton, who actually, ironically, did you just get that email from him? Like 10 minutes ago, he just emailed saying he has a new thing. Anyways, shout out to Steve Touchton, XBXRX, the underground at all. I got here. I got off the plane. I went. I met Chris. Chris, we embarked on a tour, a tour of the United Kingdom. And I asked him, because I like language, who guessed? That he, I didn't get, who guessed? I... <laughs> I asked him, what is this? This was the year 2005. Was this the year 2005? This is the year 2005, okay. I asked him what was the slang of the United Kingdom at the time. I wanted to take the temperature. Like, it's warm down here right now. I wanted to take the temperature of the nation. I wanted to know. I like language. And he said, ah, this is the thing. This is the new thing. Because, you know... Anyways, balls on top. He tells me, the, lang the thing that people say is balls on top. So what are you talking about? He's like, yeah. And I was like, oh. Totally. I know I seem ra ra rampantly aggressive, but I'm respectful. And I said, what do you, what does that mean, though? And he said, oh, it's like ace. And I was like, what? He's like, great. Like, it's really good. Like, rad. I think he was making fun of me at that point. The rad. <laughs> California. So anyways, I'm actually not from here. So I came here. Yeah, I should back up. I'm not from here. So I came to my first time in the United Kingdom. Came to London. What is the slang? Falls on top. Okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. We go. I didn't bring up feminism or 
any kind of gender stuff or anything, which is stuff I think about a lot. I think he knew that. And we go about on our tour, our journey, and we got to Leeds. The shows are going cool. Nice people. I think it's nice people in England. And we played a London show. I'm including Chris and we because he was with, you know, we were there together. Played a London show. Told the people so nice. I think I said balls on top. Silence. <laughs> I said, I don't even know how I said it. I was like, yeah, da 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 da. I'm so sorry. I was young then. I was boyish. I had this energy. I was so energetic. Imagine me bouncing. And, and I was like, oh, people are so nice. I think they felt sorry for me. And then I said, balls on top. It was like they didn't feel sorry for me anymore. They felt confused and maybe didn't like me anymore. And then we got back. We got the audience back. You know, whatever. Got paid. And then went to Leeds. And kind of same thing. Not balls on top. Fucking crickets. Like nothing. And I was like, wow, this is crazy. Crazy. And then I think at some point I was like, Chris, what's up with balls on top? He's like, oh, it's just great. I was like, really? He's like, yeah, awesome. So then we get back to London, the homecoming trip. We canceled a couple shows. I got sick. It was fucked. And then we got, I was so, I was so fucking sick. So then we went, I'm sorry, Chris. So then we went to, uh, came back to London, another show. I was, whatever, balls on top, crickets. I was like, fuck, I'm going home. So I went back to America. Years passed by. I meet up with Chris several other times, come back here, very fortunate to say, grateful to say, I never tried Balls on Top again, well come to fucking find Chris, so there's this thing, a bunch of us know each, we fucking talk when Chris isn't around, like, you know, oh yeah, Chris, so rad, yeah, 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 Chris is so funny, he told me this thing, he got you to say Balls on Top because he was fucking with you and he convinced you to say it. <laughs> So guess what? Trip out if Chris says something. Fucking don't believe him. <laughs> this song, uh, thank you very much for being here. I came to England just to tell that story, and now I feel vindicated. Not, I mean, you know, shout out. Uh, this song's called Bell and Sebastian, and it's about that sh thing. I turn, did I turn it off? Yeah. Yeah, it's called Bell and Sebastian. They're a band. Does anybody know about Bell and Sebastian? Also, wait, shout out. Real talk. I gotta say something really quick. Gotta air some shit out. I got so hyped. Does anybody know about this late... Uh, but so, this is not interesting. Does anybody know this record label from... Um, Jeremy, where's the Ice Age guy from? Copenhagen? Copenhagen! Does anybody know this label from Copenhagen called Posh Isolation? Yeah. yeah. They are... Respect. What, or, anyways, they're fucking... Mega misanthropic ste that's like their thing, is like, <sighs> they're named after a Bell and Sebastian song. In the song, The Boy with the Arab Strap, he goes, anyways. <laughs> no, because I have these friends who recently are like really ill dudes, bleeding everywhere, and they're friends with them, and I was like, you know that your friend's thing is called after a Bell and Sebastian song. So he goes, anything's better than posh isolation. Da, da, da. And so I was like, did you know that? And they're like, there's no way. <laughs> you make the record tonight. We all know the rock and roll. It is the language of night, but this got made in the day. It was bright. The drums are fully shaky, but the bass is more tight. The song is a single, and the single sucks. It never sounded good. It always sounded bad. What is the song, the pop song? Is it a conduit to give out a feeling in a compact form, a short form? The shorter is better, because it's physically much easier to share. A slogan versus a book, a single versus a record. And what if it's blank white with really no cover? Then that leaves the meaning clear. Wait, it's more vague with no hints as to intention. Except that maybe the intention was to seem vague, or it's not to have a cover. Maybe just there is no cover. And if the children care, then the children are pissed. You said you wanted pop, but instead you got this. Oh my god, what do you do? The song is the single, and the single sucks. It never sounded good. It always sounded bad. Get out. You make the record at night. We all know the rock and roll. It is the language of night, but this got made in the day. It was bright. The air is a lot drier. 
I just want to hold someone. 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 You make the record at night. We all know that rock and roll, it is the language of night, but this got made in the day. It was bright. The drums are a lot looser, like falling apart. The bass, the scraps on your skin, a big scratch, but you'll heal. The skin is intact. The song is the single and the single sucks. It never sounded good. It always sounded bad. You get away with years of bells. In short form, the conduit is cracked, but at least it's for sale. I'm sorry, Steve. I had to say it. We've had to since high school. It's been a while now, and it's hard to see what that means until you really get to talk. You just hear so much, and you see so much, and you hear so much, and you see so much. It's a lot, but you hold it. And there's piano. I had just gone through the breakup, Armageddon breakup. The timing was bad, but there's never good times for bad things to happen. Maybe better than worse, but bad.